here is the given let f such that r to the fourth to r to the third be the linear mapping defined by f of x y z t is equal to x minus y plus z plus t x plus 2z minus t x plus y plus 3z minus 3t let's find a basis and the dimension of the kernel of f here are the solutions the linear transformation is here presented with the matrix with entries 1 negative 1 1 1 1, 0, 2, negative 1, 1, 1, 3, negative 3, which are the numerical coefficients of the linear transformation we see above. Let's find the kernel of the linear transformation. We have f of the vectors c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3, c sub 4 is equal to the matrix c sub 1 minus c sub 2 plus c sub 3 plus C sub 4, C sub 1, plus 2, C sub 3, minus C sub 4, less C sub 1, plus C sub 2, plus 3, C sub 3, minus 3, C sub 4. The first step is to set up a homogeneous system of equations. The kernel of F is the set of all vectors C sub 1, C sub 2, C sub 3, C sub 4, and R to the fourth, such that F of the vector c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3, c sub 4 is equal to 0 sub r to the 4. This yields to the equation presented here, which is equivalent to the homogeneous system of equations here presented below. Now, the second step is to transform the coefficient matrix to the system up to the reduced row echelon form. So to get the R sub 2, we have to subtract R sub 2 and R sub 1. The new values for the second row are 0, 1, 1, negative 2, while the first and third rows were retained. Now to get the next matrix, R sub 3 minus R sub 1 to get the third row. So the new values of the third row are 0, 2, 2, negative 4, while the first and second rows retain. To get the next matrix, R sub 3 minus 2 times R sub 2. So the third values at the third row has new values for zeros. So to get the next matrix, we are going to, sub to add R sub 1 and R sub 2. So the new values of our first row are 1, 0, 2, negative 1. Okay, the third step is to interpret the reduced row echelon form. So here is the reduced row echelon form of the augmented matrix. With entries 1, 0, 2, negative 1. 0, 1, 1, negative 2, and 0, 0, 0, 0, which corresponds to the system presented here. So the leading entries of the matrix have been highlighted, 1 and 1. The leading entry on the I, comma J position indicates that the J unknown will be determined using the I equation. The columns in the coefficient part of the matrix that do not contain leading entries correspond to unknowns that will be arbitrary. So as we can see here below, the system has infinitely many solutions. And C sub 3 and at, at um, C sub 4 I arbitrary. While the C sub 1 and C sub 2, nag apply tayo ng uh, properties of equality. Ang ating C sub 1 ay meron ng negative 2. C sub 3 plus C sub 4 nagaling siya dito sa... Ayan, C sub 1 plus 2 C sub 3 minus C sub 4 is equal to 0. Samantala, ang ating C sub 2, applying the property of equality is equal to negative C, C sub 3 plus 2 C sub 4. Okay, the solution can be written in the form 
vectors c sub 1 c sub 2 c sub 3 c sub 4 is equal to the vectors negative 2 negative 1 1 0 c sub 3 plus vectors 1 2 0 1 c sub 4 so yung negative 2 negative 1 ay galing yan dito sa ayan dito sa negative 2 c sub 3 at yung negative 1 naman ang galing dito sa negative c sub 3 at ang 1, 0 ay galing dito sa matrix, invented matrix nito. Itong first column, 1, 0. Samantala, yung kasunod na vectors na 1, 2, 0, 1 ay nakuha naman sa, ayan, sa negative, uh, positive, rather, C, po, sub 4, at saka, positive 2 C sub 4 at ang 0, 1 naman ay nakuha natin sa second column ng augmented matrix na ito na 0 at saka 1 therefore the kernel of F has a basis formed by the set okay, vectors negative 2, negative 1 1, 0 and vectors 1, 2, 0 1 let's Note that the nullity of F is 2. The dimension of the kernel of F. And next, F is not a one-to-one -one transformation since kernel of F is not equal to the set of 0 sub R to the 4. That's all.